Congratulations on your new aeration system. Healthy water is ahead. It's time to prep everything for your install. Gather all the boxes you received and unpack to ensure all parts are received. You should have your compressor cabinet, boxes of airline and diffusers, as well as clamps and airline connectors. Unravel your airline and walk out into a straight line to allow the airline to lay out and uncoil so that there are no loops or kinks in the airline. The sun often helps with this, so we like to let it lay in the grass while we continue to assemble everything else. It's now time to place your compressor cabinet where it will run. Using two people to lift the cabinet, gently place the unit near your power source. If the ground is not level, level a 3 foot by 4 foot area for the compressor to sit. The compressor cabinet is best placed on either a concrete slab or using geotextile mesh material with pea gravel on top to create a solid base. This will allow water to drain away from the air pump cabinet. Now we want to dig a trench if planning to bury airline from the compressor to the pond edge. We recommend burying 3 to 6 inches deep for longer life and better protection with the airline. Connect your airline to the hoses at the back of the compressor unit. Secure the airline connections with the clamps provided. Slide one end of the self-weighted airline onto the barbed fitting at the pond aerator cabinet. Tighten the provided hose clamp securely over the barbed airline fitting. Now open the compressor cabinet and plug the compressor and the cooling fan into the GFCI outlet located in the right side of the cabinet. Lay diffuser lines in the trench in the same order as the cabinet valves. This makes adjustments easier. It's time to assemble the diffusers. Begin by screwing the threaded barb on first. This can be hand tightened. Next, screw the diffuser disc onto the plate. It is key to not over tighten these and strip the disc. Twist until it starts to slow down and then stop. Your aeration layout should be mapped by this point. If you do not know where to place the diffusers, contact Natural Waterscapes and we'd be happy to measure and calculate where everything should go in your specific pond or lake. At the compressor cabinet, plug the cord in at the back of the cabinet into your designated power source. Before taking your diffusers out into the water, be sure to check that all valves in the cabinet are open in the vertical position. Next, it's time to install your diffusers into the water. Let's start by adding the airline into your boat for your first diffuser. We found it helps to recoil the airline into the boat so it's easier to place into the pond as the boat goes out in the water. Coil the airline into the boat, leaving the open end in your reach at the top of the coiled pile. At this point, you can attach the airline to your first diffuser plate. Attach the airline onto the threaded barbed fitting on the diffuser. Remember to add the hose clamp onto the attached airline. Then attach the airline to the actual diffuser plate using the seat clamp provided. The seat clamp helps to reduce stress on the fittings. Your diffuser is now ready to install into the water. We like to use a nylon or synthetic rope to string through the diffuser plate, which will assist in lowering the plate into the water. Slide the rope through the two small circular openings on either side of the diffuser plate and then hold both ends of the rope in your hands. This will allow the rope to be pulled through the base and retrieved once the diffuser is placed on the pond bottom. Using the rope, slowly lower the diffuser into the water. Pull one side of the string to release the diffuser plate into the pond. Remember, the diffusers are built to land correctly. Now repeat coiling and placing for additional airlines and diffusers if needed. At this point, if you've installed more than one diffuser, you want to head back to the compressor cabinet for adjustments. The key to adjusting the valves is to equalize the airflow between the different depths and airline lengths. Based off visually inspecting the diffusers on the water surface, you want to equalize the airflow so they look similar between each diffuser. When your diffusers are in place and equalized, you'll want to add soil back onto the airline so they are out of the way and safe. If you have any questions, we're here to help. Give us a call at 877-493-7660 or send us a message at support at naturalwaterscapes.com. Your pond will thank you soon.